Have you ever heard of weed light, also known as Delta-8 THC? With so many new compounds popping up in cannabis research, it can be hard to keep track of them all. So what is Delta-8 THC? And how are products made with Delta-8 THC illegal in states where cannabis is legal? Delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol, known as Delta-8 THC, or simply Delta-8, is a cannabinoid similar to the well-known Delta-9 THC, but with some distinct differences in their molecular structure. Delta-8 has its double bond on the 8th carbon chain, whereas Delta-9 has this bond on the 9th. This slight molecular variation leads to different interactions with the brain's receptors, resulting in milder psychoactive effects compared to Delta-9 THC. As for its effects on the brain, Delta-8 binds to the CB1 receptors, part of our endocannabinoid system. This system regulates various physiological processes, including mood and pain sensation. Delta-8's altered binding results in less intense psychoactive effects, often described as clearer and more focused than those of Delta-9. While it was first isolated in the 1960s, Delta-8 remained less prominent than Delta-9 THC for many years. The legal status of Delta-8 is extremely complex and varies by jurisdiction. In the United States, the 2018 Farm Bill legalized hemp and hemp-derived products containing less than 0.3% of Delta-9 THC. This legislation opened a legal avenue for Delta-8 THC, since it's often synthesized from CBD-derived legally grown hemp. Yet in some states, where cannabis has been recreationally legalized, such as Colorado, Alaska, and Delaware, Delta-8 stands on the wrong side of the law. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment CDPAG, has classified Delta-8 as a controlled substance. The reasoning behind this classification hinges on the CDPAG's assertion that Delta-8 THC qualifies as a synthetic cannabinoid, rendering it illegal under Colorado law. It relies on the fact that Delta-8 can be synthesized from hemp, a legal substance at federal level. This process, however, of transforming cannabidol, CBD, a non-psychoactive compound inherent to hemp, into Delta-8 involves the deployment of synthetic chemicals, raising valid concerns about its safety and legitimacy. Furthermore, the CDPAG has voiced apprehensions regarding the safety of Delta-8 products currently circulating the market. These products, often unregulated and lacking stringent quality control measures, pose potential risks to consumers due to the possible presence of harmful contaminants or misleading labeling practices. Moreover, the CDPAG has issued warnings about the addictive potential and potential adverse impacts on brain health associated with Delta-8. The FDA has also reported adverse events, including hospitalizations linked to Delta-8 THC products, underscoring the importance of cautious use and sourcing from reputable suppliers. Delta-8 THC presents an interesting aspect of the cannabis world. Its milder effects compared to Delta-9 THC make it an intriguing option for those seeking a different cannabis experience. However, navigating its legal landscape and understanding the safety considerations are essential for continual research and understanding the full effects of this compound. Are there other cannabis compounds that you're interested in learning more about? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.